In this video, we'll discuss water hammer pulse and bispherians pulse and their relationship to aortic regurgitation. So, what's a water hammer pulse? Water hammer pulse is a large volume sudden collapsing pulse. A rapid up stroke is because of increased stroke volume, and a rapid down stroke is because of diastolic runoff into left ventricle and due to decrease in peripheral resistance. Pressure decrease in late systole and diastole is known as Corrigan sign. Water hammer pulse is best felt with patient arm lifted up. Why there is a wide pulse pressure in water hammer pulse? Systolic blood pressure may be as high as 300 mm and there is a depression of the diastolic blood pressure. It's also seen in mitral regurgitation and ventricular septal defect and also in a runoff blood from arterial system as in patent ductus arteriosus and AV fistula. So these were the cardiac causes. Non-cardiac causes of water hammer bounding pulse are anemia, anxiety, fever and exercise. Which endocrine disorder causes water hammer or bounding pulse? That's thyrotoxicosis. Why diastolic blood pressure increases and pulse pressure decreases as the disease progresses? As the disease progresses, left ventricular and diastolic pressure rises. And because aortic pressure can't go down below the left ventricular pressure. So in severe aortic regurgitation, there is only a slight widening of the pulse pressure. So how about the impulse in severe aortic regurgitation? The left ventricular impulse is heaving and displaced laterally and inferiorly. And how about the thrill in aortic regurgitation? There are two thrills, diastolic and systolic. Diastolic thrill is along the left sternal border and systolic thrill is in the suprasternal notch radiating to neck. What's quinx pulse? Quinx pulse are the capillary pulsations alternating flashing and paling of the skin as the nail bed is pressed. The other features are demose sign, head bobbing, derosial signs, femoral brui, and hill sign. The blood pressure in lower limb is is more than that in the upper limb. Booming pistol shot sound can be heard over the femoral artery. This is known as TROP sign. Now, bispherian pulse. Bispherian pulse have two systolic peaks and is characteristic of aortic regurgitation and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, but also occurs in combined aortic stenosis and aortic regurgitation. Bispherian rebounding pulse of the aortic regurgitation is due to increased left ventricular stroke volume ejection and an increased rate of ventricular ejection the bounding pulse or hyperkinetic pulse so what does the bounding pulse do bounding pulse increases left ventricular stroke volume wide pulse pressure and it decreases the peripheral resistance it is also seen in mitral regurgitation and ventricular septal defects pda AV fistula, and anemia, anxiety, fever, and exercise. Pulses bigeminous. In pulses bigeminous, a normal beat is followed by a premature ventricular contraction. Pulses bigeminous also has regular alteration of pressure pulse amplitude. So what are the causes of pulses bigeminous? AV block, SA node block with ventricular ectopics and digitalis. So pulses bigeminous is also seen in digitalis toxicity. 